I pray today that you accept your freedom. You might say, freedom from what? Well, whatever you need to be free from. In John 8, verse 32, it says, You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Well, the truth is a knowledge that, that the higher thinking power of God can think through you and can cause you to be a new creation in Christ, can persevere you, can strengthen you, and to allow you to do things that, acting on your own, you could not do. If you truly desire to be free from worry, or something really big like drug dependence, or another negative habit, you can be. Yet, it is not the intensity of your desire, nor even the desire itself, that frees you. You gain freedom as you affirm, as you believe in and accept the freedom as your God-given state of being. An affirmation that I used years ago is something I'm going to share with you right now. Those that have known me a long time or have watched or read my writings know that I used to be a worrier, a chronic worrier. Thank God, years ago I overcame this, but I overcame it first with this positive affirmation. Constantly to remind myself of who was really in charge. Here it is. I'm going to share it with you now, and if you have a pencil, write it down, because this has power. I am free, for the truth of God sets me free. I tell you, I didn't say that one time, I said it 60,000 times, over and over again, until it got through the thick concrete barrier that seemed to be surrounding my human mind that I myself constantly filled with worry and I was able to overcome it with those words I am free for the truth of God sets me free freedom it reverberates from in and through you for God life is at the center of every cell of your body. And you can believe anew in the power of God within you and moving through you. You can be free. I know this. You can be free. By affirming your way to complete freedom, hour by hour, and day by day, it comes. I've often said it's like uh, peeling an onion. It's thin layer by thin layer by thin layer by thin layer. And then all of a sudden, it's done. It has happened. You've gotten through. And the change is permanent, not temporary. Accept your freedom, knowing that you deserve to be free. You open yourself and your life to the freedom that God has so lovingly provided for you. And then you'll say, with me, thank God, I am free.